Shawnee Miller Weibo is the defending Olympic champion in the 400 meter dash after a dramatic finish where she fell to the track, just edging out Allison Felix for the gold medal at the 2016 Olympic Games. Now, entering the 2021 Olympic season, she not only has the potential to defend her Olympic gold in the 400, but also has a decision on whether she will go for the legendary 200-400 double. The double has only been successfully done by three other athletes in history, Valerie Briscoe Hooks at the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, Michael Johnson at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, and Marie Jose Parekh also at those 1996 Atlanta Games. This year's Olympic schedule is very tight and maybe not exactly favorable to a 200-400 double, but I think Miller Weibo has a strong potential to not only attempt it, but also to successfully win gold medals in both events. So let's take a look at why Shawna Miller Weibo of the Bahamas should go ahead with the 200 400 meter double at the Tokyo Olympic Games. First off, what does the Olympic schedule look like? She will open things up on the fourth day of competition, August 2nd, with two rounds of the 200 meters. The first round at 10.30 in the morning, then at 7.25 in the evening, she'll come back for the 200 meter semifinals. She'll follow that up on the fifth day of competition, August 3rd, with the first round of the 400 meters at 9.45 in the morning, then come back for the finals of the 200 meters at 9.50 in the evening. Next, on day six, she'll have to run the 400 meter semifinals at 7.30 in the evening. Finally, day seven will be a full day of rest. She will not have to compete, then come back for the 400 meter finals on day eight at 9.35 in the evening. So the only real challenging day is going to be that day five where she has the early morning 400 meter heat followed up by a late evening 200 meter final. Though most would probably say that this schedule is a bit too tough, I think this is a great schedule for Miller Weibo considering the time she has run and the competition she will be facing. Miller Weibo has a personal best in the 200 of 21.74 seconds run at the 2019 Zurich Diamond League. She also has a 400 meter best of 48.37 seconds from the 2019 World Championships in Doha when she got a silver medal behind Sawa E. Nasser. In 2021, she has already run season's best of 22.03 seconds as well as 49.08 seconds in the 200 and 400 meters respectively. For the 200, her time makes her currently number 8 in the world while her 400 meter time is number 2 in the world. The women's 400 meter field has become significantly watered down in recent weeks. Sawa Eid Nasser, the world champion from 2019 who beat out Miller Weibo, has just been banned for two years from the sport, making her ineligible to compete at the Tokyo Olympic Games. We also have Sharika Jackson, 400 meter bronze medalist from 2015, 16, and 19. She has chosen to go for the 100 and 200 instead, which means she will not be a factor in the 400 meters this year. In addition, the women from Namibia, Christine Mboma and Beatrice Maslingi, they have both unfortunately been ruled out from competing in the 400 meters, unfortunately due to their natural levels of testosterone, the same rule that is keeping Castor Semenya out of the 800 meters. So despite their fast times in the 400 this year, they will not be running in Tokyo. Now, like I mentioned, Miller Weibo has run 49.08 seconds this year. Behind her, the only women who have broken 50 are Stephanie Ann McPherson at 49.61, Quinera Hayes at 49.78, Candice McLeod at 49.91 seconds, and Mara Lidi Parlino at 49.99 seconds. These are the only women who have broken 50 and will be running the 400 meters this year in Tokyo. So, if Miller Weibo can not only just run her season's best, but also get close to her personal best of 48.37 seconds, she will be a clear favorite to walk away with the gold medal and have room to spare in that 400. Now let's take a look at the 200, which is a lot tougher than that 400. She has a best this year of 22.03 seconds, which makes her number eight in the world. And ahead of her is some tough competition. Of course, Gabby Thomas from the US ran 21.61 seconds, making her number two all time only behind Flojo. Also under 22 seconds is Shelly Ann Fraser-Price at 21.79, Sharika Jackson and Jenna Prandini at 21.8, Anavia Battle at 21.95 seconds. And of course, we can't forget about Elaine Thompson and Dina Asher-Smith, both who have run 22.0 seconds this year as well. So there is going to be a lot of competition that Miller-Weibo will have to go up against. 
But we have to put things into context. Miller Weibo is one of the most experienced athletes in the 200 meter field, along with Shelly Ann Fraser Price. And she is currently rounding into form. Season's best of 22.03 seconds, personal best of 21.74 seconds, and she's run under 22 seconds multiple times in her career. And she's also just coming off a win at the Monaco Diamond League in the 200 over Marie Jose Talou and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. So, I think this is going to be a very competitive 200, but Miller Weibo has a very strong chance to not only medal, but also win that 200 meter gold. Remember I noted that the 400 meter heats is in the morning of day 5 and the 200 meter final is in the evening? So though it's going to be very tough as she's the only one doing that on a single day, she doesn't really have to run a fast 400 meters. She can cruise to a comfortable 51 seconds in the 400 meter heat and then be very well rested for the 200 meter final that night. So with all of those things factored in, I think that Shauna Milowebo should go for the 200-400 double at these Tokyo Olympic Games, and she very well may be in contention to get gold medals in both events. So go in the comments below and let me know what you think. Should Milowebo go for the 2-4 double in Tokyo? And if she does, can she win a gold medal in both events? Let me know what you think. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.